Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As a demonstration of my dedication to your development as a Bitcoiner, I created an entirely new background for this video and probably the next one and maybe the next one after that. This one looks like a cruise ship cabin and it's actually a cruise ship cabin. So I am on a cruise and I'm making videos for you, much to my editor's chagrin, but here we are. So I'll try to get through this really quick, okay? Hang in there, this is a good one. Did you know that most Bitcoiners are making a huge security mistake? They're sticking with single signature wallets because they think the advanced security of multi-sig is either too complicated or too expensive or both. What if I told you the way you're thinking about multi-sig wallets is completely wrong? And I see it all the time in the comments to my videos. Some people say they're using this wallet, this wallet, and this wallet for a multi-sig. And other people say, well, I prefer this wallet, this wallet, and this wallet. And other people get scared away because that sounds like way too many moving parts and too expensive. Well, I think that there's a better way to do it and that you could set up a rock solid two of three multi-sig wallet with just one single hardware device in under five minutes. Today, I'm gonna prove it to you and help you secure your Bitcoin from theft or loss with the pinnacle of Bitcoin security. Easy and cheap. In today's video, we're addressing one of the biggest barriers preventing Bitcoiners from upgrading their security. The belief that multi-sig requires complex technical skills and multiple expensive devices. I'm gonna walk you through a practical demonstration comparing a traditional multi-device multi-sig setup with a simpler single device approach using QR codes. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a clear path to institutional grade security that works with your existing hardware and takes just minutes to implement. If that sounds good, let's get to it. First, we need to address this horrible misconception. Yes, it's true that multi-sig wallets are designed to require multiple signatures for each transaction, but here's what most people get wrong. You don't need multiple hardware wallets to set up and use a multi-signature wallet. The fundamental security of multi-sig is based on having multiple keys, not necessarily multiple devices. Let me repeat that. The security advantages of multi-sig wallets comes from the inherent presence of multiple signing keys, not multiple signing devices. A typical two of three multi-sig setup means you need two out of the three keys to approve a transaction. While the Blockstream Jade I'm going to use today in this example makes this process particularly straightforward with its QR scanning capability, it's important to note that you don't have to use a Jade specifically. Other wallets with multi-sig capabilities can accomplish the same thing, but may be a little more tedious to use, as you may have to enter each seed phrase in the device manually. But the key concept is any hardware wallet can host multiple keys successively. They may just have to be entered manually rather than scanning a QR code. With each key loaded individually when needed, you can use any single signing device to provide all the required signatures for your multi-sig wallet. To prove that you don't need three separate hardware devices for proper multi-sig setup, I'm going to conduct a simple demonstration. I'll first show you what a traditional multi-sig setup looks like with multiple signing devices, specifically the Blockstream Jade, the Trezor Model T, and the Trezor Safe 3. Then I'll reveal a much simpler approach that gives you the exact same security benefits. Well, actually, the security benefits are enhanced using just a single device. This side-by-side -side comparison will prove once and for all that the multi-device requirement is simply a misunderstanding. Both wallet demos are gonna be set up using the tried and true Sparrow Wallet, available for download at sparrowwallet.com. First, we're gonna start with the traditional multi-sig setup using three separate hardware devices. I've preloaded each device with a separate seed phrase, so they are ready to go and we are not gonna waste any time. So let's head over to the Sparrow Wallet and I'll see you there. Okay, here we are at the Sparrow Wallet welcome screen. After you launch the application, this is what you see. And if you'll notice down here in the corner, this little toggle right here is green, which means I am connected to my own node. <laughs> and yes, I'm running a node out in the middle of the ocean, literally the middle of the ocean, in a cruise ship. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person on the cruise ship running a node, but if you know anybody who runs a node on the cruise ship when they go away on vacation, let me know. Put a note down in the comment. Oh, 
While you're down there making a note about your node running adventures, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. All right, back to the video. Now, what we're going to do is we need to create a new multi-sig wallet using Sparrow Wallet. So we're going to select this new wallet button. There we go. And we're going, we need to give it a name. So we're going to call it multi-sig three hardware. Okay. We're going to create wallet and we're going to select this toggle right here and change it from single signature to multi-signature. And that brings up this whole thing over here. And this is going to be a two of three wallet. So I'm not going to change anything here. We're going to leave it at native SegWit. And I don't believe we have any other, uh, we don't have taproot option yet. They're working on that, I suppose. And now to my left here on the table, I have three hardware wallets, which we're going to connect one after another. So the first one is the Blockstream Jade. So I'm going to turn it on. So I have to enter the pin and I'll be right back. Okay, the Jade is on, ready to go. So I'm going to press connected hardware wallet for the first key store or key right here in the multi-sig wallet. Going to scan for the device and it should pop up up here and there it is. And that's it, import key store, done. And it even knows what the device is, Jade. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect my Jade and I'm going to connect the Trezor Model T and it's ready to go. All right, key store two. Connected hardware wallet again. Scan. It's asking me for the passphrase. So I don't have a passphrase associated with this. Incidentally, in a multi-sig wallet, you can use passphrases in addition to your seed phrases. The problem is then you're introducing even more moving parts and most people don't recommend that you use passphrases on top of your seed phrases with a multi-sig setup. But if you wanted to, you could. Now it recognized the Trezor T and I'm going to import the key store and number two is done. And now I'm going to connect third key, Trezor Safe 3. Okay, connected hardware wallet again. And I'm going to scan. Again, it's asking me for a passphrase. I will press no passphrase. And there it is, Trezor Safe 3, import key store, and we are done. And then I'm going to press apply. I'm going to set a password for my demo wallet, a really intense password. And there's the PDF. I will get to this toward the end of the video. I'm going to close that and we are done. And now let's go to transactions. Oh my goodness. This wallet comes with $53.97 of Bitcoin in it. That's fantastic. I hope all of your multi-sig setups open up with $53.97. All right, multi-sig setup done. That was super easy, right? But we had to use three separate hardware wallets. Now for the multi-sig setup number two that we're going to look at, we're only going to use a single hardware wallet. But what I'm going to use is the Blockstream Jade, which has a camera built into it in the back right here that's used to scan what's called a compact QR code. It's just a small little QR code, 21 by 21, and it scans the code and that's how you enter the seed phrase like that. You don't have to type the seed phrase in like I did when I initialized these other devices. So I have key, or I have QR codes representing each of those seed phrases that I used to create this wallet. And I'm gonna create another wallet using a single device and changing the seed phrase on the device with QR codes, just temporarily, temporarily, temporarily. And we're going to see if it's the exact same wallet. Hopefully it will have $53.97 in it or thereabouts. So let's go ahead and create a new wallet. We're gonna call this one multi-sig single device. Create wallet, and here we are, multi-sig. Now I need to load the first seed phrase onto the device. I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. All right, the first seed phrase is scanned. I'm gonna connect the Blockstream Jade and go to connected hardware device. Now I could use the air-gapped 
QR code scanning as well, but I'm going to use it as a connected device just for no reason. I'm going to scan. And there we go. Import key store. And key store one is done. Jade water. Let's go to scan the second code and I'll be right back. All right, second QR scanned. Let's try to connect the wallet again. I'm going to scan, import key store, and there we are. Done. Jade 2 is done, and now we're going to scan the third, and I'll be right back. Okay, third QR is scanned. I'm going to click connected hardware wallet again. I haven't disconnected this at all. I'm going to scan, and it says there's an error. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try again. Connected hardware wallet. Scan. There we go. Good. Good. And we're done. Jade 3. Apply. Now, if everything is the same, I should have the exact same amount of money or Bitcoin in this wallet as I did with the first wallet using these two other devices. I'm going to set a little password. And we are done. Now, here we go. Moment of truth. There we go. Ooh, this one even has more Bitcoin in it. Actually, it's the same. Just worth more. 58,160 sats in the wallet I created with the three scans of the QR codes uh, with one device and 58,160 here. And now just to verify that the wallets are the same, we're going to look at the addresses. So we've got the first address ends 3FPJXF, and the second one is 5GW052. And now we go to the other wallet, receive, oops, addresses, and there we go. Same addresses. It is the exact same wallet. I used a single device. You do not need three hardware wallets to run a multi sig. In fact, this was faster to set up using the Jade than it was with the other devices. It's amazing. Now, I have a full video on the Blockstream Jade and the Blockstream Jade Plus on my channel. If you want to learn more about the QR code scanning capabilities and all of the functionality related to that. But I do want to mention the Ace up the Jade's sleeve is what they call a stateless mode. And that's what I've been using. In that mode, when you power off the device, the memory is completely wiped and the seed is destroyed and removed from the device. That way you completely, 100% eliminate the risk of theft or physical compromise of the device from your potential attack surface. Basically, it's just this little square plastic thing at that point. As soon as I power this off, there's nothing left in it. So if somebody got it, they can't crack it open and solder the chip onto something and try to extract the seed phrase, there isn't a seed phrase on it. Now, how do you create these fancy QR codes that I was mentioning? Well, we, I talk about it in the other video, but briefly, you can use the Blockstream Jade itself. It has the capability to help you create the QR code, and then you simply record it on a piece of paper. Or you can use this tool, available at bitcoiner.guide forward slash seed. Now, do not use this tool when you're connected to the internet. This is obviously a website, and if you create a seed phrase using this tool, if I click this generate button, it will generate a seed phrase. That is not secure. We're connected to the internet. Do not use this online. You can download the page by simply going to File, Save Page As, and save it as an HTML file, and then disconnect from the internet. You have to be on a secure machine. The best way is to Erase the hard drive, start over, and then you can use this on the machine disconnected from the internet. That's the safest way. But this you can use to generate a seed phrase and just below the seed phrase is the QR code for that seed phrase. And then you can do whatever you want. You can take a screenshot of it. You can copy it on the paper. You can print it, whatever you want to do. That's up to you. So if you take a screenshot of it, please take it off the computer, put it on a secure USB device, whatever you want to do with that. So that's how I was able to enter the seed phrases into the Jade very quickly and successively using the stateless mode, 
and scanning the QR codes. So overall, multi-sig does not mean multiple devices. It simply means multiple signatures in one wallet, which can all be entered or accessed by a single device. You can use any device you want if you're willing to type in the seed phrase, but the Jade makes it easy with its QR code scanning capabilities. So why bother with multi-sig in the first place? Well, it provides way better protection for your Bitcoin than a single signature wallet. If one of your keys is compromised, your funds are completely safe and you can store your backup seed phrases in different physical locations for true geographic distribution of security. And if you decide to back up your seed phrase using a QR code and the, using the Blockstream Jade as your one single device, you can create and store these QR codes on durable media and separate them in different physical locations as well. And for maximum protection, companies like Vulcan21 or GoBurr, I'll put links in the description below, make specialized metal seed QR plates that allow you to punch your QR code into durable stainless steel. These backups can withstand fire, water, and other environmental hazards. Let's take a quick look at those two websites that have seed plates available for your QR codes. Here's the Vulcan21.com site and their first premier product is Steel QR, where you have a QR code for, or a QR plate, I should say, for a 12 word seed phrase, and then QR plates for a 24 word seed phrase. And then they have various options down here that you can look at on your own time. And then the other site is called Go Burr. There it is, Go Burr, G-O-B-R-R-R dot me. And then these are some of their products. We've got a paper seed phrase, excuse me, seed QR backup. They have seven packs. And then they also have metal backup for your seed phrase QR available. And those are right here. That's a backup for your 12 word seed phrase. And this is a backup for your 24 word seed phrase QR. You simply punch your QR code into this thing and you can scan it with your Jade. There you go. I'm not sure if the Jade does scanning for 24 word seed phrases. That's actually a good question. And when it's time to spend out of your multi-sig wallet, just grab your Jade and whatever two steel plates represent the two seed phrases that you want to sign the transaction with. You scan your seeds, you sign the transaction, and you're done. This gives you the security of distributed storage and the simplicity of managing just one single device. Okay, a quick side note about multi-sig seed phrase security. Each seed phrase, like regular wallets, has an associated public key or XPUB along with it. it. But it's really important to not only secure your seed phrase backup, but also the wallet information file, which includes a list of all three XPUBs. Multi-sig wallet restoration either requires all participating seed phrases or the minimum number of seed phrases. So, so in a two of three wallet, it would be two seed phrases. But if you only have two seed phrases and you want to restore a wallet, you need the list of all three XPUBs. Without that list, your funds are gone. So you've got to take care of three seed phrases in a two of three multi-sig wallet and the list of XPUBs or wallet information backup. And that's what that little window was that came up in the Sparrow wallet, requesting that we download a PDF and then we encrypt it and save it somewhere online. In conclusion, don't let complexity myths stop you from using one of Bitcoin's most powerful security features. As you've seen, setting up a multi-sig wallet with the Sparrow application and a single Blockstream Jade takes just a few minutes, not hours. This multi-wallet misconception has prevented way too many Bitcoiners from implementing proper security. Now you understand that multi-sig doesn't require investing in multiple devices. It's about the keys, not the hardware. This single device approach gives you all the benefits of multi-sig without the hassle of juggling multiple hardware wallets. You can start with just the hardware you already have, and you can always upgrade your setup later. Remember, the best security system is the one that you use. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video helps you along your Bitcoin journey. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.